Cincinnati, about to suffer from too much beer. A new brew pub just opened Monday, and another will tap its kegs in less than two weeks. But with almost two dozen breweries already open, some fear the city may be too saturated. Not on your side, Scott Wegener has more on the bubbling beer scene. Still another brew is being poured in over the Rhine. Taft's Ale House Brewery just opened its doors on Monday. We had lines around the block to get in. Kevin Moreland's three-floor drinkery is the latest to tilt the tap in the tri-state, but certainly not the last, according to WCPO beer reporter Jesse Folk. We have anywhere from about 23 to 25 active craft breweries here in the city. Five to seven, which should open here in the coming weeks into the year, and then possibly about 10 more after that. That's a lot of suds. Cincinnati's got a thirst for beer. How deep a thirst? Can we have too much beer? Everyone agrees. It's a good question. That's a very good question. It's a great question. Confidence seems to be high. This was a beer town. Always has been and always will be a beer town. Moreland says the future is overflowing. I don't think we're even close to our saturation point. Neither do his customers. I don't think we're there yet. Um, maybe at some point. At the moment, um, I, I think there's enough patronage to support it all. But ask UC Department of Management Professor Chuck Matthews if local beer making can go flat, and he'll tell you. The short answer is yes. But it won't be immediate. We'll probably see continued growth in, in the uh, brewing segment here in the greater Cincinnati, northern Kentucky area, but we probably will see some falling off of consolidation over the next five years. Strong business plans are key, he says, as much as a good product. No beer bubble just yet, although bubbles in your beer. Scott Wegener, 9 on your side, over the Rhine.